across the body so that we can connect one side shoulder going across down to the opposite side hip. So starting out in tall kneeling, nice posture. So with your cable, as long as you have a high to low angle, we're good. So it doesn't have to be extremely high, but we also don't need it parallel to the floor. So high to low angle, and then position yourself just slightly in front of the pulley or where the band's connected, whatever it is you're using. So from here, we're simply going to trace the line of the arm, coming right down until you're even with the shoulder, and then right back up. Make sure you stay nice and tall through the hips, so you don't want to go into any flexing over. One thing is, take a thumb, put it on your bottom rib, little finger on that front hip bone, and we want to maintain the same distance there the entire time. So if the distance gets shorter, you went into flexion. If that distance gets bigger, you went into extension. Normally, it would be flexion forward, extension back. We want to stay neutral. Then we can progress this to a half kneeling position, then coming down and across, and then we can even move towards a little bit more of an inline, bringing the front foot on the same line as the back knee, and going through the same movement. So the key is control. We're not trying to make this a main strength movement. We're simply trying to connect some areas, work across some diagonal patterns, and enough so that we have to respond to it, but not so much that we end up getting out of a good position simply to pull more.